Hey Mon Keys, how are you doing? It's Damien Keys here. Right, listen up. It's 2018 and there's absolutely no excuse for some of the content that I'm seeing being pushed out on social media. And let's face it, a lot of the stuff that going out that you and I are seeing looks like a dinosaur is fucking up a donut factory and it's a mess. Don't monetize this video. This video is going to have a lot of swearing in it, so we're not going to monetize it. But I want you to come on a journey because this next 10 minutes you need to watch because this is going to change your life. This is going to make you a better human being and probably you're going to get laid a lot at the same time. So watch the next 10 minutes. This is going to help you. But seriously, pay attention because we can improve your social media within the next 10 minutes. And I'm going to give you 10 tips to improve your social media today. So social media comes in all forms, but a lot of the time, instead of being planned, some stuff is just in the moment. It's just the magic of that moment that we're trying to capture. And I'm seeing this a lot, but the problem is, if you are not ready, then it just makes the whole thing look unprofessional. Now, you are an artist, you're in a band, you are representing, your audience are looking up to you, they want to be like you, they aspire to be like you, they want to be as cool as you. So if you're saying, when I go on stage, I look super awesome, and when I do a photo shoot, I look super awesome, and if we're planning social media, I look super awesome, but the rest of the time, I just can't be asked. Well, in that case, when the magic moment happens, you're gonna look like a student, you're just gonna look like you can't be asked, and you wanna look like an artist, you wanna look like a rock star or a pop star. That's the point of what it is that we're trying to do. You have gotta try and live it. So being ready, just making sure that when you're going out, you're just having a think about what you're wearing and thinking, you know, I don't know what's gonna to happen today, but if it does happen, I need to be ready to capture something to look half decent. Now, I don't expect you to take fashion tips from me, however, I want to make sure that when I'm out, if something happens that I need to capture on social media, I don't look like a shithead. So effectively, just for me, a shirt, a decent t-shirt, some accessories, that is enough for me. Now for you, you're an artist, you'll think differently, but too many people are looking like they just stumble out of bed or they should be in work instead of looking like a pop star or a rock star, and that is not good enough when you're putting social media out there. Tip two, take time to compose the shot. It takes a few seconds. Now, what's going on here? I've got light switches, I've got a cupboard behind me, and more importantly, why are you filming from this angle? This is a bad angle. I mean, look at this. I've got more chins than a Chinese phone book. At least film from up here. At least from high, you gave yourself half a chance to look decent. But we've got to get rid of half this stuff. This is not good enough. It takes a couple of seconds to look around the room and have a think, where's the best place for you to stand? And I guarantee you, it's not with a bunch of this stuff behind you looking down like you're taking a massive poo. Now lighting is absolutely crucial, and yes, it might be dark, or you might be at a gig, or you might be shooting in a car, but that's no excuses. Now look at this shot. I just look like an absolute creepy motherfucker that's just crept into someone's house to do something incredibly bad. You don't need a professional lighting outfit to make the shot look half decent. If you're in a car, you just turn the lights on in the car. I mean, even in this room, if I just turn the lights on in this room, Mm. Instantly, at least you can see me. I mean, it's not its not gonna win any Oscars for lighting, but at least it's much, much better. If you're outside, a street light. Or guess what, if it's daytime, there's a massive big ball of sun in the sky. Face the sun and get the sun in your grill so you can actually light up the shot properly. This kind of grainy dark thing, I don't know if you're going for some kind of Alfred Hitch Hitchcock movie, but it isn't working. When you're taking a photo for social media, Instagram, whatever it is, can you please take more than one shot? Because the chances are someone will mess up in that one shot. So rather than and then you're gone, if you ask someone to take a photo, say, can you take five to 10 photos? There's more chance that someone isn't gonna be blinking, everyone's gonna be looking in the right direction, and someone isn't gonna look at the shot and go, oh no. Try get different angles. Can you try this? Can you try over there? Can you try this? Use the time. If, if you're taking a photo with someone you don't know and say, oh, can I just grab a picture? Even if you just say, can you get three or four, so you can actually move around just to get the best photo that you can get. Utilize the time. If you've got 10 seconds, you can get a lot of shots in 10 seconds. If you've got one minute, you can get a hell of a lot of shot. It's rapid fire with this thumb. So get as many shots as you can and then pick the best one. Tip five, now this entire video has been shot on my iPhone. And yes, it's not gonna win any awards, but it's good enough to get the point across and to make good content for your social media for free. So there's no excuses. But 
When I film, at the moment, as you can see, I'm filming in portrait. Now, when you hold the phone, there's always that temptation to actually stick your little pinky just underneath the phone to support it so you can hold it up so it doesn't drop on the floor and smash and ruin your entire life. I get that. But as soon as that gets transferred across to YouTube or Facebook and you put it into your social media, it looks rubbish with the big lines down the side. So absolutely always, always, always film in landscape. It's just the golden rule. Tip six, a pop socket. Now we use our phones all day, every day. And this little green bogey thing that I get asked about all of the time is called a pop socket. Now it allows me to film or use my phone as much as I want without dropping it, change the angles, being able to film, being able to take pictures. This thing to me is an absolute lifesaver. How much does it cost? About three quid, literally two to three quid, which you can buy in any phone shop or on Amazon. It's really, really fantastic. And it just means A, I'm probably not gonna drop my phone, but more importantly, it allows me to film and shoot from any angle, and as soon as I want to put it back into my trousers, I just pop it down like this. Jobs are good un. Tip seven, and another cool gadget, is just this really cheap tripod. Now, I bought this for less than a tenner and it saved my bacon on so many occasions. It means I can attach my phone, which means I've got a steady shot when I need it. I can also have a bit of a gorilla grip, which I can put around branches or, or fences so that I can have moving shots. It helps me with time lapses. This thing is just another really great addition for very small amounts of money. If you're in a band, you can put the timer on your phone, you can set it to take a picture, you can plonk it somewhere without trying to balance it up against two bricks with a pencil, and it means you're gonna get a really, really decent shot. This goes with me pretty much everywhere I go. Now when you're playing a piece, why have you cut off your own head? That doesn't make any sense to me, but this is stuff I see all of the time. You play a great piece of music, and I'm thinking, what's wrong with his head? Like. Put your head in shot. There's no reason for you to cut off your own head when you play a piece of music. It doesn't make any sense. Tip nine, keep your videos short, to the point, and more importantly, more statements and less chatter. Too many videos are just chattering and going on, and what I'd like to see is you start a video and say, this is the point of the video, then do the thing that you need to do, then have a sign off, everyone's a winner, off you go. And tip number 10, and this is the big one, when you've made this great content, it's much better than anything you've ever made before because of my awesome video, you wanna post it. And when you post it, you have to ask a question in order to try and trigger this Facebook algorithm. I know I say it all the time, but I'm gonna keep saying it until you start doing it and I'm not seeing enough questions. Every time you post something, have a question. Add a question on the end of it, which for this video would be, what other tips have you got? And everyone knows that they're allowed to get involved down below and then people start commenting and liking. And at that point, Facebook says, this is quite important and it starts to push it out. Always, always post your content with a question. So thanks very much. That's my top 10 tips on how you can improve your life, well, your social media and probably your life as well. You can thank me later. If you can like, if you can subscribe, if you can share, I love you more. Don't forget, the book's coming out in about four weeks' time, The Rule Breaker's Guide to Social Media, so I'd love you to check that out. But otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow.